Hey, in this episode, I want to share with you guys building my first barn uh, when I first bought the property uh, here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Stay tuned, I'll share with you guys my little barn adventure. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. When we purchased Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, this is kind of what it looked like. Well, this is what it looked like because these were the first videos that I took of the property back here when we first bought the property. Now, this is our first day on the property, both Becky, my wife, and I. Uh, we kind of traveled around, looked to see if this is what we wanted to buy. And we decided, of course, yeah, long story short, we, we bought it. We actually signed papers on our anniversary day. So what an anniversary gift, huh? So through the course of a couple of years or several years, I was collecting uh, resourcing material, uh, metal roofing, uh, boards, uh, all kinds of material for upcycling, recycling, repurposing. So I stockpiled all that, and then we, when we bought the farm, we accumulated more because this this old mobile home that was destroyed kind of gave us some more building material. So we used the collection of all the material that I had accumulated throughout the whole process and began building a barn. So this is a barn laid out. Got it all cut. I just have to make the front walls. There's the roof joists and the floor joists. There's the rest of the floor joists. And that's the front of the barn. This is the side of the barn. And this wide opening right here is going to be the doorway for the livestock to get in and out of the, the stall. All this is salvage material from that old mobile home. We cleaned off the property, used every bit of my screws that I had, so so far this hasn't cost me a cent. Chicken coop hasn't cost me a cent either, just using all the screws that I have. Now I'm finally out of screws. Have to buy screws. There you have it.
And I wanted to point out that the chicken coop, I'll feature that in a future video, but the chicken coop and this, uh, the barn that were the first two structures I built on the homestead before we even moved a house over. Yeah. So I wanted to get my farm in place, my infrastructure in place, because we had planned to get goats again, because we had goats over at the other property. So looking around for a suitable location to put the barn, I felt I'd put it right up here on the other side of the pond, because I wanted all my outbuildings a suitable distance from the house on where we're going to be placing the house. I didn't want it too close. Plus, they had to be a set distance away from the well house as per code. Uh, livestock enclosures, you need them 100 feet or more away from your well house. Now, I did feature the well house build in a previous episode. Check that one out. I'll go ahead and leave a link for it right here. Um, so I began building the barn and I wanted to articulate that this barn took like three to four years to build. It took me time. The initial structure, it took no time at all. I went ahead and constructed the floor, uh, built it all by myself, didn't have any help at all. So I had to become uh, inventive in the process as you see and uh, watch the as I'm constructing this barn. Okay, what's going on there? <laughs> you want this mama? She took off like a, like crazy. There's another deer over here. Anyway, uh, lots of wildlife up here, but we didn't have goats at the moment. We were kind of between the goats because we had goats down at the other farm. So I needed, I wanted to build a barn to house milk goats, Nubian breed. So I was building the barn. I painted it. I made it pretty. I installed solar. Uh, because it's too far away from electricity and I just wanted a minimum amount of light in there at night when I go feed the livestock at night. I built uh, these two stalls and the, uh, they were big enough for goats.
But now the barn you see behind me here is the second barn. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you what happened to this, the first barn. So 2013, we signed papers on the property. We built the barn. 2022. Uh, it took me that many years to progress with building the barn. Came up with some uh, material for the floor, the stall floors in the back, because I went in, into Eagle Point, Oregon, and I went and extracted some honeybees from this home. And the lady had a stockpile of decking material that was surplus, so she gifted it to me. And that's what I used to put in my barn.
Okay, the goat bed is finished. Now I just have to do that for. Okay, the tour. Right here we have the feed barrel. It stores the feed and keeps it away from uh, little rodents. Keeps them out of it. And then we have a box here that contains the electrical fencing material for putting electrical fencing around the pastures. I have yet to complete that project. Here's the waterer that keyhole slot doubles as the gate to get in and out of the stalls. All I have to do is move that water bucket. That water bucket uh, on in the inside of that keyhole slot will keep the goats from knocking it over and getting it dirty. I have the stairs here that goes up into the hayloft. Of course I've got grass hay up there to feed the goats with and then I've got the bedding straw over there. That bedding straw goes down here into their bed that I built for them. I put pine shavings in the stall area so it'll absorb some urine moisture and make it easier to clean. This is the keyhole slots from the inside. This uh, is able to feed the goats. I feed them grain and hay in there. This here is the stanchion. Let me show you the stanchion. You open it up and it creates a little spot that's a little bit elevated. And then I use this stool to sit on while I'm milking the goats. The goats' heads are locked into the headlock here where they can come up and get their little ration of grain. You'll see the tools I have down there for trimming and caring for the goat hooves. I also have a iron to burn or dehorn uh, the horns off of little bucklings and dolings if they should grow horns. Right here I just have some corn that I harvested from my fall crop dried and I feed that to my chickens occasionally, keep them from getting bored. It also gives them some protein to keep them warm for the winter. Right here this feature is uh, my battery bank which is charged from solar panels on the roof. Those are Harbor Freight solar panels I have uh, mounted on the roof. And then of course you'll recognize the Harbor Freight uh, solar charge controller. I have a little 350 watt inverter right there that will give power to the uh, porch light. Also it gives power to any small appliance I might have in here which eventually I'll be making a homemade goat milking machine and that's when we will be using that to power the goat milking machine. The 12 volt lights in the barn give me plenty of light for at night when I'm in here. And this so sunroof I created for the barn gives natural light. It's a south facing uh, sunlight and it gives plenty of light in the barn. And then my buddy came over with some pigs and gifted me with some pigs. I had, I, I never thought I would raise pigs. These were American guinea hogs. So I ended up raising pigs in the barn. And this is before we got the goats, so here's the pigs. And then Friday the 13th, 2000, I think 22, the barn went up in flames. All my effort, all those years of building the barn out of resource material, it took me about 30 some dollars for paint and screws. That's all I spent on the barn. Everything else they just resourced, but the barn burnt to the ground. And so that was the end of that barn.
stay tuned for the next video I will share with you guys this took construction of this new barn yep the family helped me clean it up and you'll see the family helping me build this new barn uh, we were insured so insurance helped pay for all the new material to build a brand new barn we made it a little bit bigger uh, same floor uh, same um, is it 12 by 12 is what it is the barn is 12 by 12 but it's uh, two feet taller than the previous barn so stay tuned for that video when I start constructing this barn you don't want to miss that I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Hey, give us a thumbs up, click that share button, sharing my videos on your social media platforms, and also check out my other video I just filmed and launched uh, from over at Southern Oregon Safaris where Buffalo roam, which is right across the street. I also co-host a show over there and we're featuring elephants. We're here at Southern Oregon Safaris. We're at Buffalo Roam. We're in the Buffalo Roam. Uh, I'm Hayden. I'm Jerry. And in this episode, we're going to share some unseen videos and clips of the elephants that haven't been shown yet. Some will surprise you. Enjoy. Yeah, and the elephants, they do special events. Uh, and we had Richard Branson, we had Christina Aguilera, uh, it was Katy Perry, Michael Jackson, a bunch of people that were involved with uh, the elephants and the elephant work. Yeah, check out that video. We'll see you guys in my next adventure. Bye-bye now.